Jackass Forever is a compilation of stunts, skits, and pranks intercut with on-set talking heads with its cast. The film begins with the tribute to kaiju movies in what appears to be a city being overrun by a giant green monster. In reality, it is Chris Pontius's dick painted green with a sit set of city intercut with cast members running through a life-size set of the same city. The intro ends with the monster bitten by a snapping turtle. And Johnny Knoxville's intro. Hello, I'm Johnny Knoxville and welcome to Jackass. Stunts and pranks with the main cast include Johnny Knoxville facing a bull resulting in dangerous consequences. Steve-O having his penis used as beehive. Chris Pontius's penis being used as paddle for a paddle ball. Dave England getting pig semen dumped on them, a vulture eating pieces of meat off Wee Man's body, Aaron McGee being subjected to painful tests with an athletic cup, and Preston Lacey's testicles being used as a human punching bag. See, it wasn't a human. It was like a massager, right? It was a massager with punching or um, boxing gloves on it. So it wasn't a human punching bag. It was a massager's punching bag. Newcomers are also featured in many of the stunts and pranks, including Jasper Dolphin being shot off a ramp by large industrial fans while holding a parachute, Rachel Wolfson having a scorpion sting her lips, poopies fighting off a Texas rattlesnake, Zach Holmes gliding down into a bed of cactuses, and Eric Mana Mananaka. Mana Man Manaka riding a bicycle full speed into a false wall. The final stunt, Vomitron, features Zach, Dave, Eric, Poopies, Stevo, and Jasper drinking milk while strapped to a high-speed carousel as they start vomiting. Knoxville and the rest of the cast initiate an attack involving paintball guns, a tennis machine, and multiple explosions. After assuring the stunt is over, one explosion is set off, surprising the victims of the stunt. So the best thing about this movie is the soundtrack. I have absolutely no notes on the soundtrack. There's a lot of dicks. They're very weird with their dicks in this movie. This movie should be called Dick Shots. There's a lot of funny shit in it, but it's not like a movie. There's a couple of really, really funny parts in this movie. Uh, I guess it's somewhere between uh, all the dicks and the pig semen. You know, I miss CKY2K. That show was dope. So, like, the whole movie starts out with this vignette, and Chris Pontius' dick is like this Godzilla roaming through the streets, and then it would be, like, intercut with, like, Steve-O being a construction worker like getting sprayed with jizz we man being like construction worker getting kicked in the nuts or some shit like that it's was, it was pretty funny at opening if you're gonna have dicks be the star of the movie like they should have cast for dicks not for like idiots right <laughs> i'm gonna give it six out of ten joints uh because it's hella funny there's lots of hella funny parts in it it's pretty entertaining it's not a movie you can't call this a movie. Um, it's not a narrative film. It's like a two hour long episode of Jackass. I mean, you could have like cut it to be a documentary on people being complete idiots, but it's not. It's it's a two hour episode of Jackass. My favorite one was, according to the plot, the last one where they're all in this merry-go-round and everybody's like wearing pastel and they're drinking food coloring, presumably food coloring dyed pastel milks, um, presumably so you can tell whose puke is who, um, and you know that they fucked with that milk, right, you know there's probably some semen in it, there's dicks been poured in that, somebody stuck their dick in that, your mouth is on some dick right now, and then like they're on this merry-go-round, which makes me ill, right, just seeing one of those things makes me ill, so... Like, they're getting ill on that, and then they're, like, surrounded by, like, all, like, this military paintball dudes. It's, like, 100 dudes, like, dressed like, like, military guys, paintball guns, and they're, like, throwing explosions everywhere. And it looks like a movie set for, like, an army scene from, like, the 50s. And they're, like, all these explosions and, like, people, and then they just, like, start, like, unloading on them, and it's fucking hilarious like that is my favorite one absolutely it's just so because like i can imagine i can imagine being on that like being hella sick because of just being looking at it makes me sick so i'd be like hella sick like puking like milk which is terrible right and then like seeing that right because my eyes would actually be closed i would be like bleh, 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 and then like blinking open maybe like and then just seeing like being surrounded by army guys and you know like if you're in jackass you know that those aren't those are airsoft guns or those are paintball guns 
Those are some kind of guns that are going to hit you with some shit. You know that. You know that looking at those things. So when they just like open up on them, it's, it's fucking hilarious. It's hilarious and it looks painful and it was painful. Look at them. They're just like welts. They're just like walking welbos. Like they're just welts. It was a good thing that nobody on the merry-go-round was like from Vietnam or something because that would have triggered them. Like that was... That would have PTSD'd somebody. I, you know, I got to give it to Johnny Knoxville. He looks great. I don't know why Paul Rudd gets all the credit for being hella old and looking great. Johnny Knoxville looks amazing for the kind of shit that he does to himself. You know, he was a friend of a friend of mine, and I saw him at the Chateau Marmont once. Um, and I saw him at like the 101 cafe once and I just recognized the, the belt. He used to have this like leather belt that said Knoxville on the back. And I'm like, I know that belt from somewhere. Um, but he's a friend of my friends and, uh, I was with my friend at an audition at the Chateau Marmont. He's, uh, being my mentor at the time. So he's like taking me on auditions and like telling me like, no, you can't dress so punk rock because it's, I mean, it's authentic, but they see it as unreliable shit like that. He goes over to talk to Johnny Knoxville and I'm sitting over there and I see Ed Furlong, Eddie Furlong, who he used to hang out with too, um, come over and he like kind of like lingers by them, but they're like, they can tell, like they know they're famous and shit. So they can tell somebody's lingering. They're just like, fuck you, go away. So they're ignoring him and he just like, oh, walks off and he comes back. Like maybe, you know, he goes to do whatever he does, maybe bathroom or something. He comes back and he kind of does it again and they're still ignoring him. So he goes and sits down in the little courtyard, comes back over to where I'm sitting at. I felt bad for him. So I was like, hey, isn't that Eddie Furlong over there? He's like, oh shit. And he goes over there and like hangs out with him for a second and like meets his like, he said it was like his fiance and like his agent or some shit. He said that Johnny would be there a lot because whenever his wife would kick him out, he would just go down to the Chateau Montmartre. There's my Johnny Knoxville story. So yeah, Jack is forever. It's funny. It's a funny two hour thing like an hour in you're just like because there's some lulls you know like i guess they somebody told them definitely don't let it be funny throughout because people can only take three minutes of action before they get you know overstimulated so you can't you know you have to have it three minutes and then have some lulls yeah fuck that guy fuck that guy okay this shit would have been great if it was just awesome 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 awesome, awesome. just cut those lulls out there's some lulls. Just get those out of there. Because about like, you know, I, I noticed, I was like checking how far are we in at about 57 minutes. So it's lulling around there for sure. Um, otherwise, you know, they do so many terrible things to their penises. It's crazy. It's nuts.